the problem is? Well, you see, uh oh, insert horror movie sounds. Oh boy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You just had the cutest little sleepy tired face. I just had to film it. Mm, the cat was a little bit annoying last night. Uh oh. What did Harry do? Sometimes he. <coughs> usually he like sleeps with us for a little bit, then goes to his bed. Last night he was like, "What oh, sleep with you for?" Three minutes and then go to my bed. And then I'll come back and sleep for another three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Do you wonder what that pile of black dots is? What pile of black dots? Oh, wow. Oh, I think, do you think it could be the dirt from the geranium pot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we ask that every time we come out here. Okay. Watch out for that huge spider web. Where is it? In your chair. In my chair? Right there. Ah, uh, I see. Ah, it's so nice out here. Feels like a, feels like a be beach morning. Ollie says, mmm, let me sniff it. Hey, good morning. <laughs> he said, it's so spacious out here. <laughs> so where do I sit? Ooh. It is a beautiful day. We sat on the front porch, had some coffee, and I've been working, although the animals just want to snuggle today. Woo, the grill is hot. I'm gonna throw some veggies on the grill for lunch. We are sitting on the deck having a delicious meal. Mary made us veggie kebabs. We're having leftover crab cakes, some grilled chicken. They don't look the same off. They, they're pretty pretty summery and magical. And don't forget the watermelon. Oh, guys, Ooh. we picked a good watermelon. Mary, we were in Sam's Club the other day, and Mary pulled up this guide on her phone for picking a watermelon. I thought it was like kind of not. I mm. thought it was just not gonna work. Conjecture. Um, but we followed the guide and we got a good watermelon. I think that was probably just chance, but you know. <laughs> um, nothing like a good watermelon, though. What did we just do? Guys, crazy. Okay, hold on. Let me flip the camera. So, we did a thing that happened. How many prickly pear paddles do you think we just picked up? Oh, there's a prickly pear. Uh, yes. I wonder, I wonder if they want theirs removed. Yeah. Somebody dug out their prickly pear and they said, $5, take as much as you want. And so I talked with her and was like, can we take mile. the rest Where that you have? Home. So we just got all of those for $5 and all three of us have prickles in our, yep. they are like partially spineless, which is wonderful, but they also had some prickles. So stay tuned for... Peter and Mary's Prickly Pear Palace. <laughs> Cactus and coffee. Oh! We could go in our coffee shop. Yes! I don't know when are you opening that? Mm, soon. Grand opening is 
one year from today. Oh. <laughs> all right, we got home from picking up all of those prickly pears. We're so excited about those. And I got back, I was feeling kind of shaky and kind of weird, but I sat down, I ate some cheese and crackers, and I opened up my computer for teaching a, an anatomy class in Alaska. It was really fun. I visited that class last year via Zoom and taught about cystic fibrosis and treatments and answered questions, and I really love doing that. I was just saying to Peter and his mom, I'm excited for the day that I'll get to do one in person at some point. Probably not in Alaska, but you never know. I've decided I need to clean out some things from this medical cart and take them up to my storage closet. But there is one small problem. The problem is, well, you see, uh oh, insert horror movie sounds. Oh boy. Well, I think I need to deal with it. some progress. <sighs> One of the things I like to do with my IV IG supplies is get the supplies and sort them out for what I need for each infusion. That would include one IV bag, one IV pump tubing, one dressing change kit for my port, a needle, a cap, a dressing, uh, interesting, there we go. Sorting it all out helps me also keep track of my inventory and what supplies I need to order. I just found the supplies when I was doing sub QIG didn't work great for me. Just found the supplies. Hello, Harry. Hi, baby. You gonna help me? That's all my Trikafta packaging. Helpful. Another benefit of going through the closet. I found expired heparin. Good catch. Uh, my IV pump just came on. Oops. There we go. Are you ready for this? Dun da da dun. This is a cup my friend my friend sent me. There's a straw at the top. Super fun. All right. It is done. For now. There's more I could have done, but I'm at the end. Reorganized the enzyme area. More enzymes. Trikafta, empty Trikafta packaging. <laughs> Feeding tube supplies, IV supplies, nebulizer supplies, all the different things up there. The wall of IV supplies. Dexcom supplies, extra Dexcom. I do need a little bit more shelving and then these things can come off the floor. But those are like heating pads and that sort of thing. This is my IVIG bin and the rest is history. A supply closet full of the things that I need makes me feel very thankful. Very, very thankful. Really? What is it? Really? 
I still need to finish taking care of some of the trash and I need to refill my feeding tube drawer in the bathroom with gauze. Oh no, guys, we didn't show them evidence that we finished the puzzle. Oh, you guys put it away. The girls finished the puzzle while I've been working on some video editing, but my mom did make something, a memory from my... <laughs> I'm not allowed to show them because they look bad. A memory from my childhood slash past. I do have a memory, I think you sent me one while I was in college, and it was like, you know, I was, I loved college, but there were, there was a little bit of homesickness of like, mi missing home and mom's chocolate chip cake. And she sent me one, I had this memory of sitting in my dorm room eating a chocolate chip cake, remembering home. <laughs> and uh, anyways, she's got a chocolate chip cake in the works. It's uh, cooling down mm. and she melts these chocolate chips and puts chocolate on top and she had extra we only had one cake pan so she um so she made some little mini ones i already tasted it tasted like homesickness <laughs> took me back to my college dorm room probably last time i had it <laughs> but ah oh, did you get that closet organized up there Partially. Partially. I mean, it's a task. Do yeah. you know what I need? What do you need? Okay, I need more shelving. Shelving? And then also, what if we do a little shallow shelf around the hole up there around my closet and do all my trikafta boxes in there? The oh, empty ones. <laughs> you know, I have a trikafta box on my bookshelf in my office. I did see that. That was sweet. Thanks for coming on our day. And? As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, Poodle Noodle.